Hello everyone, this is Jay at Pangyo Techno Valley. I'm here with an interview with Snoa Kang, the CEO and founder of KnowHow.zip. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Can you please tell us about your company and your product? Oh, my company is SaaS AI company. So we are a company kind of high support from Korean government. So last year I got $75,000 from nice. yeah, Korean government last year. And then this year I, we are selected um, K Unicorn Academy okay. and then K ICT Global Mentoring System. Okay. Um, so totally $2,500,000 we supported. So mm. now we build doc documenttranslator.ai. Okay, so the name of your service is documenttranslator.ai. Yes. Tell, tell me more about your service and what inspired you to make this. So this service is more multi-gear document management service. So okay. before when you make translate the document, you need to pass copy and pass mm -hmm. and then make again is so take a lot of time. Yeah. Our service just drop your file or copy the link and paste in my website and is um, they translate automatically at the same time to uh, 60 language. 6D, not yeah. 16, 6D. 60. Yes, yeah, so you can choose wow. easily uh -huh. and then you can share the people easily. So for example, um, multiple viewer is kind of just change the language and change the document quickly. So it doesn't need to copy and paste anymore. So it's a multilingual document translation service. Yes. What inspired you to make this? There are other AI programs that are translation services, and we'll get into what makes yours unique soon. But I'm curious, why did you start this product or this service? Oh, it's, they have a really interesting um, story okay. with me. When I was in USA, there are a lot of international team member, mm -hmm. and I had a nandokzeng, do you know in English? Dyslexia. Yeah, okay. dyslexia. Uh -huh. So I take too many time just read the, that information in sure. English document. And like one hour or two hours, just if they're in Korea, I just take 10 minutes, but sure. I take two hours, three hours. Uh -huh. And even though they are like Italian and someone is French, so they also want to share their own document, uh -huh. but they have a language gap and wider. Sure. Yeah, so I take too many time. And even though just one product and one service, so and I also was in Mexico last this year, mm -hmm. and they use Spanish. <laughs> I was gonna say now now your English is pretty good. Yeah, now I learn English. But then you went to Mexico, and uh, do you speak Spanish? N really, nothing like. Hola. <laughs> that is my that's, Spanish. That's about all I can do too. Yeah. So you created this service because you have dyslexia and you got experience from going to the States and studying with people from all around the world and yeah. you realized, I agree with you, I'm a foreigner who lives here, yeah. that reading documents and translating documents, it takes way too much time. Yeah. I don't want to say necessarily it's a waste, but from my point of view, yeah. it takes way too much time. So you, you created this that does 60, 60 different languages and now we're going to kind of talk about what, what makes this unique. You're saying you can drag and drop files. Yeah. So what makes your product or service so unique? So I can say four uh, features. Mm -hmm. So one, um, usually PDF, PPT, Excel, the other company also can do it. Mm -hmm. But we also can do Notion okay. and Google Docs okay. and website. That is the link that I say you can copy and paste the link to in my... The link itself. Yeah, so example. It's Whoa. kind of more cooperation tool. So Notion, you can make the plan or uh -huh. something, want to share, uh -huh. but you use sometimes English or something Korean, mm -hmm. and then you want to share Spanish people. In that moment, translate, copy, and paste, it takes too many times. Right. So one function is more the other uh, type can use. And then you can choose multiple language. So before you need to one, one to one language. Right. So for example, I Italian, French, Spanish, me. Mm -hmm. I 
uh, do some project. Mm -hmm. The moment I need to translate <laughs> too many things. Right. Yeah, or just English. Right. And then they also copy and paste and then change their right. own language. Right. So take, take too takes many. Takes too much time. Yeah. So that is the one function. Many type um, can unload and then multiple language. Uh -huh. Multi Multi multiple languages. Yeah. That's fine. Multilingual is. Multi multiple languages are multilingual? Yeah, uh -huh. it, at the same time. At the same time. Yeah. And second, they have a um, dual, dual scroll. Uh -huh. So left side is original one, uh -huh. and right side, you can see the translator one. Okay. So when you get translate, mm -hmm. you want to compare. Sure, because of, of, make of course. Sure. So scroll, scroll, scroll. That is the before people action. Yes. But this one, one scroll is automatically the two viewers moving at the same time. Simultaneously? Yeah, so it's sync. I need to use your service. <laughs> Thank you. I need to use this. So what makes this so unique is that you have different functions built into this. It has six, it can use 60 different languages or can translate 60 different languages. You have a copy and paste for link option and can work with multiple document files. Is it? Is there another function? I believe I was looking at your, ah. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at your app yeah, and your okay. service a little before. One of my interests, I think you have this thing called like industry vocabulary or, or glossary. Oh, Gen, Gen AI glossary, yeah. right? Uh, so that is more our uh, powerful tool. Mm -hmm. I make the powerful tool mm -hmm. because I were selected data voucher mm -hmm. from Korean government. They okay. give the data. Okay. So there are a lot of glossary, uh -huh. like a specific uh -huh. uh, psychology or something. Blah, blah, sure. Blah. Yeah. And when I download, it's almost 800. So before you need to type upload 800 the word. Uh -huh. But this one generates, so you choose like business or IT language and just create and they'll make the glossary automatically. Based off that certain industry. Yeah. This sounds incredible. Yeah, that is more make easy to apply your um, area or your field. Is did they use different not language um, speak? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, different word. Yeah, different vocabulary. Yeah, sure. vocabulary. So I want to make sure more people like and the people want to use their own want to say the, mm -hmm. that word. Specifically for the field they're working in. Uh, yes, that I want to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this what makes your product unique? Are, are there other, I, I've never seen a translation yeah. document app like yours. Are these features are what make, are these features are what makes your product unique or what makes your product unique compared to other translation services? Uh, I didn't get it, sorry. What makes your product specifically unique compared to other translation services? Oh, so more, the thing is, this one you can do yourself. So you don't, like, you upload, download like that. Mm -hmm. But unique things, the other focusing on the just do their self mm -hmm. and get it. Mm -hmm. But my, the service can share mm -hmm. the multicular yep. viewer mm -hmm. link. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to download, sending, just copy the um, viewer. Got it and they can also select they, what they want language so it's more easily shared or so it's make unique. So it's more efficient, uh, it's, it's more specific because you can do the industry terms as well and it's just easier overall to share. Very cool. So who's your target? Like, I don't know if I need to ask this question. Yeah. <laughs> I could be your target market. Basically anyone could be your target market but specifically when you started this or maybe who you're focusing on now, who is your target market at this point? In this point, I'm more focusing on the master school okay. and graduate A school, same. And then uh, research, corporation, uh, corporate research company mm -hmm. who see a lot of overseas document, paper, report, they every time see and then share. That is my focusing on to uh, targeting. Mm -hmm. And next, I more wanna focusing uh, target, uh, I wanna targeting mm -hmm. to international company who have a global employee. Perfect. Yeah. I, I mean, when I asked that before, this could be used in so many wide areas. So I was really curious specifically who your target market is. Makes perfect sense. Master's degree students, uh, graduate students, same thing. And then uh, research, first of all, research, global research, and then obviously uh, international companies after with global employees. 
Are, is your product already available abroad? Is it available at this moment? Uh, one week later, it show up actually oh, because I new. need to change a lot of things for user okay. and the testing. Okay. And then I also want to renew next month, November. So next week show up beta, and then next week, uh, next month they show up the launching. The launching version. Yeah. So it's a brand new product. Yeah. Awesome. To get this started, how did you said you got some government funding? Yeah. Is that how you got this started? What What did it take to get this company started? Uh, you, you talk about benefit. No, no. How How do you you had the idea from the beginning? You were a graduate student abroad in America. Mm -hmm. Was it government funding that helped you, that helped you launch this product? Oh, pretty much. Really. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was the government. Yeah, Mon money. Funding is money. Mm -hmm. It's most important to mm -hmm. make, and then network also important. But most important also, they are like I need to meet lawyer sometime, and then the other people they're connecting everything. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to waste too many time find someone and then getting money to something else. They government suffers too many a lot of things yeah what, what about future business plans are you yourself going abroad soon are you going to market this yourself how are you how are you going to grow your business going forward so first we make the more like the principle mm -hmm. the whole things mm -hmm. and i want to make more specific small product with this principle ah. for example newsletter uh -huh. that i can it, translate all documents, mm -hmm. easy to share, okay. or so we can make. So we want to try make a lot of small, more specific area mm -hmm. with this principal tool. So for example, um, first we want to go master school and then getting the partnership uh -huh. and then there want to uh, uh, paper uh -huh. and then paper company also can make so we more focusing on we want to focusing on the more small area specific service got it okay so you want to prove what you have it seems like you already have a great service uh, almost ready to available now but you want to prove uh, in certain areas and then case and continue to upgrade it um, and introduce more specific and niche areas as well yeah. so it's kind of a do you know API yeah yeah so it's more we make a service, also API or service. This is just make it. And we also make small things. Every service make try to more focusing specific target. Very cool. Uh, speaking of, we're, we're over here and you talk about government funding and we're here at Pangyo Techno <laughs> yeah. Valley. And I know the government has put a lot of funding into Korean startups. What do you specifically think the advantages are of working here? You talk about Tangye, right? Yeah. Oh, here is so amazing, actually. When you walk around here, all like great buildings. So I make more because the building also important. Yeah, when of you course. hire the employee, yeah. And then here also sleeping, shower, and then food also they support the in building. Mm -hmm. So first, when you make the great company, employee is most important. But if you like small area, it's no one coming sure so that also really important in pangyo and second there are also networking habits so i can meet investor and the other higher high call a high company mm -hmm. ceo mm -hmm. so i can get advice yeah and i also have a mentor because of their support so you have it has great facilities there's other CEOs, experts here who can help you launch your company, get it more efficient, uh, become more efficient to come to market here in Korea and abroad. And you have a mentor here as well. And plus have fun. And support. plus have fun. Yeah. Okay, that's fun. important. Yeah, you might have been everyone. one of the first ones to say that during one of my interviews. Ah. Plus have fun. It should yeah. be fun, right? Yeah. You have such a great service here. Is there anything else you'd like to say during our interview? Anything else you'd like to add? Oh, add. Um, I want to say my service is for international students or international people who like going the other country and they are every time get language gap with 
document or information. And then when I come to the... <laughs> I, I, I needed this about like a, a 15, 15 years ago now, 20 years ago, I, yes. uh, 15 years ago, I needed this. It sounds like such a great service and something that will help out so many students, business professionals, researchers. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. I'm sure you're very busy, but as you said, I think this is also part of having fun. So, thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you guys need a service, you're looking for a service that is just about to launch that can translate over 60 languages, uh, making it easable, uh, easy, more accessible, and more efficient documents. It's shareable, has industry specific vocabulary and glossary and terms. Check out documenttranslator.ai from knowhow.zip and Snow, the CEO and founder, spent some time with us today. Thank you guys so much. This is Jay at Pangyo Techno Valley.